Hi, I'm Sherry Ortiz. And I'm Vicki Romans. From Ask the Experts on DentalXrays.info. Okay, I'm going to show you a few techniques um, that you can use when you're doing the anterior PAs of a narrow mouth. Um, if you have the perfect ideal patient, you usually don't run into any problems. It's when you have these difficult patients, whether they're narrow or uh, shallow palate or whatever, that's where you have to do a little bit more creative x-raying, as I say. Uh, there's different um, pieces that you may want to use. Um, some offices, again, always use the Ren instruments. Uh, they're great. Or some offices use the bisecting angle technique. I think I'll start with the ring and show you how to do a few anteriors. Now, the size film is a size two and many times it's too large for a very, very narrow mouth like this. And why it doesn't fit? You cannot get it from side to side behind those front teeth because it is way, way too wide. So there's two options. Uh, switch to a narrow size one film and if by chance your office doesn't have them, the other option that you can do is place the very edge of this film farther back into the mouth so that it actually fits between the dental arch. So if you notice, I'm not directly behind the teeth. I've got the, the film way back by the molars. Now before she closes, what I'm going to do is roll the whole unit upward and then have her gently close and bite close and your goal is to get the lower teeth right up onto the bite block. What helps sometimes is if you use a cotton roll. Right now, I'm going to take that out, she really has to close to reach this bite block and to make it easier on the patient if you actually put a cotton roll on the upper part of the bite block she will be able to secure the whole unit in her mouth a little bit more easier. Let me know. So again I'm going to Put it way back there to fit, roll it up, and then directly put the cont roll up, up right under the front teeth and then have her close and bite. Bite. Okay, open. I think she's so narrow. Bite. Sometimes you have to readjust it a few times to make it work. Slide this in and then you're going to actually put your cone in and uh, get the perfect picture. When I say roll the bar up before she bites, it helps eliminate, if you look over here, a lot of foreshortening. I'll show you what happens to create that with this, with this piece here. When you put it in, if I did not roll it up, gently close, you can see now the whole unit is actually tipped downward and by having an upward direction of the x-ray cone, you're really coming from bottom up and it's actually projecting that very, very short image. So rolling it up before she bites will eliminate this, this problem here. Ideally on her, it would have been great to have the size one film. And I'm going to show you how much easier it is to place it. First of all, the bottom edge, you can actually place a little bit closer to the teeth um, behind them. Uh, so it's, she's still so narrow, I'm still going to have to go quite a, a ways back. But before she bites, roll it up and then close. You see how that actually works a little better than just closing down. A good idea too is to actually explain to the patient what you want them to do before you put it in. Um, so I would say to her, what my goal is for you is to gently bite on this, okay? And then they know what to expect. Another error people make sometimes is when they do place it here, they slide it up and they hold it up. So now when the patient tries to close, it's real, oh she's, it's, it's, it's difficult, open. It's jabbing so much down below, you're not allowing it to actually find its way. So let go of the bar as she's closing and it'll, it'll kind of ease into place. Another option um, that you can use besides the uh, ring instruments for the anterior teeth is the bisecting angle. It's a different holder, um, there's different varieties actually, depending what you have. Um, you can see that one has a little curved edge, this one is straight, but both of them work very well. Um, I'm going to show you this one because this is a, 
great one to use because um, it actually makes it a little easier for you in getting the correct vertical tube angle. You've got to remember now we, that the vertical tube angle, the up and down, is going to cause your elongation or foreshortening of your images and so you really have to make sure that's correct. This instrument here really helps guide your, your cone so that you are getting the correct angle. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to do the upper ones to start with and we're going to have her gently bite down right here and if you notice the slant of the, uh, the bottom edge that she's biting on, the little bite tap, you're going to actually vertically set your tube so that's in the same line as this piece is actually directed. So we'll show you how that works. I'm going to just place this in. Now the bottom edge needs to go in enough so that it fits between her lower arch. You don't want it out here like this. You want to seat it deep enough so that it fits. What I'm going to have you do is gently close. If you notice now, her anterior front teeth are resting just where you need it. I'm going to turn your head to the side for a minute. If you can look at the direction that this piece is actually sitting, this is the guide that you're going to use to set your vertical tube angle, which is this way. And if you can see, let's really turn your head there. So you can see the direction is kind of slanting at about a, I don't know, 30 degree. I'm actually going to start angling this so that if I were to continue this line in the direction that this is flowing, so you can see this would be correct, this would not. And what that does is it actually is positioning your vertical tube angle to the position of the film in the mouth. So right now the film is like so, and so the x-ray beam is being directed almost at a right angle to the film placement. So another thing you don't want to do is cone cut your image, meaning not align the circle with where the position of the film is in the mouth. So you don't want to be too high or too low. I suggest the bottom edge of the cone here is actually down far enough so that it's including the base of this piece right here. So this would be incorrect. This is more correct. Now some people have a shallow um, arch on top, so the whole film itself, open, is actually may be sitting like so instead of like this. So why don't you just pretend it's like that. So if it were to be like this, now you can see that the vertical tube angle has to even be increased more to accommodate this type of a mouth. If you have any other questions, please visit us at dentalxrays.info and click on Ask the Experts.